Hey, I'm Jake Jones, and I'm here next to two superstars. I'm here next to Byron Scott and uh, James Dentley. And they're going to be starting the basketball league, or they already did, didn't you? Well, we're launching uh, in about the next 30 days with the prime time basketball. This is our president, uh, Coach Scott. This is our fearless leader and a visionary. And uh, I'm just excited to be here, be one of the owners, and uh, just be a part of just bringing basketball back to our community and giving uh, our retired players some things to do, the ones that can still jump and run. <laughs> It's, it's, it's even more than that, to be honest with you. I mean, it, the, the league starts in October, not October, I'm sorry, August the 19th. And uh, we, we have so many players in our league that are being basically forced out of the NBA uh, because of the youth movement in the NBA. So we have 28, 29, and 30-year-old players who've played in the league five, six, seven years uh, that are no longer wanted, so to speak, in the NBA because of the youth movement in the NBA, number one, and number two, because of their salary, what they would demand from a salary standpoint. So. We want these guys to have an opportunity to still fulfill their dream, play the game that they love so much, uh, still make a decent living out of it, and still have the ability to brand themselves. And also, the one thing James and I have talked about along with the other guys uh, of the organization is to, it, this is the perfect time for these guys to understand that basketball is not going to last forever. You know, so we want to start you know, looking at trying to get these guys to understand if they want to get into real estate or uh, or whatever that may be that they want to get into, we want to make sure we have the avenues and the, uh, the people that can help them towards those things. So it's not just a basketball league. We really want to help our players be able to live their second life, life after basketball, because we have, we have such a great number of guys that when they make it to the NBA, they think they're going to play forever, and then four years later or five years later, they're out of the league, and then three or four years after that, they're broke. And we want to try to you know, nip that problem in the butt. That's amazing. So what I find is that when you have a passion, it never goes away. So when NBA players are kicked out of the league or like they don't make a team or they're forced out for other reasons, it's really hard for someone to just give up on that, you know what I mean? So it's amazing that you guys are creating a league that keeps them in the loop and allows them to play basketball and continue to do that. And uh, I've seen something through the different leagues like the NBA, the JBA, um, G League, mm -hmm. all these other leagues, they don't do what you guys are talking about, is helping them after basketball, you know? They just focus on the sport, how much uh, views can we get, how can we promote them as much as we can, and then once they're out of the league, they're done, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's really cool you guys are gonna be able to help them once they're out of the league. Well, the cool thing about me is that I truly believe that, you know, if you're a winner, then you know how to win. Mm -hmm. And I said this in the stage earlier, that becoming successful, especially in the sport, you can transfer it over to every other aspect of your life if you choose to. It's like learning how to make a, a great cake. Once you can bake that cake, you can bake it in any kitchen. So it's about taking these gentlemen out of the league and then women next, and they'll be able to transfer the skills they already have and bring it back because what they've been able to do just to get to that level and stay at that level for any length of time is uh, there are life lessons there that we can share with our youth and we can be an, an inspiration and a great example for everyone in all communities around the world because this is just not an American deal. This is a global opportunity right now because we'll be playing all over the world. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Now, the great thing about it is that having a great leader uh, like Coach Scott because it's not just what you've done, it's really who you are. And uh, we got a chance to spend some time on a 150-foot yacht. <laughs> you know, uh, I, was just, I was just glad to be there. <laughs> so was I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but really bonding and really uh, getting the chance to, to mind melt and understand what the bigger picture is and we're still in that process we're still in that crock pot mm -hmm. but it's smelling real good yeah, yeah yeah we're excited we're excited about the launch of the league in, in uh, august and uh, we're excited about the future of the league as well and uh, we, we're, we're also looking at in the ho hopefully the next three to five years that our players who will be playing in the league and all of a sudden get out of the league one of these days will run this league and so uh, again we it, it's all about the players it's all about their branding uh, and giving them the education to understand that once their career is over, they got other avenues that they can turn to. Yeah. And many of those games you guys can go check out uh, through our new network, Always Amazing TV slash Prime Time. And you can check out many of those games with us as we move forward and, and impact the world in a great way. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have the fans have access. So it's going to be a different flavor when the mm -hmm. fans can get on the floor, actually meet the players, yeah. shoot, shoot around with the players. Yeah. You know, in NBA, the other security, you can't go past this. So we're going to really, really open this thing up, and it's going to be a ton of fun. 
And I really thank you for your leadership, man. Just thank glad you, to be here. Thank you. Thank you for your involvement as well. It's been great. Like I said, we our, our first meeting was on a 150 year, uh, foot yacht, and we had a great time. Yep. We were there all night long, yep. just uh, just just coming together as, as a group. And uh, we got a lot accomplished that night. And yep. now it's uh, you know headed in the upward direction, and we're excited about it. Yes, sir. Awesome. So one more question I have. So you guys first met on the yacht, right? Yes. All right. So how did you guys come up with the idea to start a new basketball team? Well, it wasn't us. It, it was a couple other guys that got involved. This uh, John John Askew is one of the main guys uh, who's out of New York, and then he brought James in and Mark McGuire, who's with yeah. us as well. And then we brought in another guy named Rock. And then it just kind of got together. Then they brought me in. Uh, and uh, again, we had to have that meeting because we hadn't all met each other. Mm -hmm. and, and James is the owner of the, the Chicago team that we had. And so we all needed to just get together and see each other face to face and have a conversation about the direction of the league. And once we did that, and we really started really strategize about what we wanted it to do and what we wanted it to look like. And everybody had an opinion on, you know, uh, things that we thought would be good. And everybody brought out their ideas and we just threw them all in the melting pot. And, the ones that we felt were great, we said, let's use it. The ones that wasn't, we said, guys, let's just kind of put that to the side. And um, just a great marriage so far. And everybody gets along and everybody's in it for all the right reasons. Amazing. And I can't believe we haven't talked about this yet, but what's the name of the league? Primetime Basketball League. Amazing. PBL. That sounds great. PBL. PBL. Yeah. Awesome. Well, it was great talking to you guys. Um, amazing to meet both of you today. Um, but I hope we can uh, keep going and I hope we can uh, meet again. We will. Absolutely. Awesome. We look forward to you playing a little bit as well, man. You got a little game. Oh, man. Oh, 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 you got a little game. You may be short, but you got a big shot. Yeah. All right. All right. I'll right. see you in prime time. All right. Thank you. Thank you.